autism, and let me just stick with autism, although this applies to other conditions as well, cellular metabolic tissue problems that have been documented to be associated with electromagnetic fields, radiofrequency radiation, are found in people with autism. I see EMF as a piece of the avalanche of things which we weren't designed to handle. Autism is actually a common sense condition. It's not this rare phenomenon caused by very precise mutations that cause the specific configuration of behaviors. I think that the things we see, the behavior, behavioral and cognitive and sensory and motor coordination issues are basically what the brain is able to do when it's overloaded to this drastic extent and when the brain shifts into a state where it's protecting its resources, it can do a lot less coordination of information. And when we look at how a person acts when their brain is acting that way, it looks like these specific behaviors, but I don't think they're really specific. I just think they're a sign of a brain that doesn't have a lot of bandwidth. And that bandwidth has been taken up and interrupted by a host of environmental issues. But if you think of autism as a process that happens and is recreated every microsecond of every day, then when you start to remove exposures from the field of the child, or the adult for that matter, the load becomes less. And if you support the system through really good living nutrition, the system has a chance to reorganize itself. And I think that's why people do get a lot better and some of them even lose their diagnoses because it's not imprinted and stamped. It's something that the body is constantly trying to repair itself. The brain is constantly trying to repair itself.